What's happening guys? Taylor Payton of PowerPainters.org as well as TaypayArt.com here. Today bringing you the third installment in the Artist Toolkit series. And the subject of today's video is going to be called Process and Ideation. So Process and Ideation is basically our pipeline that we would use as as artists as you know we would have it in our toolkit is knowing that we can take any idea to finish if it's worth taking to finish it just needs that process so what you're gonna be seeing in this video is just some sketching some some ideas are gonna be looser than others some are gonna be a little more developed but this is the ideation phase it's where you're creating these ideas something that you can parse visually and then have sort of a process to fix that and you know finish it up Basically, all we want to do is lay down the rough idea. So in this case, it's an angel, or was an angel with wings, with a sword striding towards some sort of thing in the, the mid-ground or the background in the skies. And all this stuff can be really rough. It has to be mostly readable for you. Like, it's just literally to get the idea down. And a lot of the time, we'll spend too much time on the initial version and realize that, you know, oh, we just want to take this one to finish. But typically you want to just use the first one as an idea as a springboard and then you would go and build other tools in your process like a ref board or you would go do some studies that are relevant to what it is you're actually trying to create for example if I wanted to finish up this girl uh, who's like in recline in the air um, I imagined her having a bunch of like swirls around her in like a sci-fi suit and like one of those small little laser guns in a sort of a pin -up -y fashion and if I was gonna finish this up I wouldn't finish this specific drawing. I would, you know, go and find as many things as I needed to make sure that the final piece I have in my head that I would use my process to create would kind of come together. So basically this video, this toolkit, is about knowing how to generate ideas and how to use your process to bring those ideas to the fullest degree of fruition that is appropriate for that given idea. So for example, this one might take me anywhere from I would estimate four hours to 12 hours max to bring to a finish after I gathered my reference material, redrew the pose a couple times, and really spent a good time on the parts of my process that I've cultivated. And as an artist, your process is going to change as you evolve. You're going to have a couple go-to processes that sort of serve you over time, but it's a good idea to start placing your awareness, placing your consciousness on these processes because there are what going to or they are what's going to deliver your idea to a higher degree of finish so basically when you really get down to it all you really need is an idea and that's why somebody would hire you is because they wouldn't have the skills to bring it to a finish they'd have the idea but they wouldn't have the tools and the technical know-how or the things that I'm giving you like in this toolkit to be able to actually finalize it but as artists we want to finalize our ideas or in some cases the ideas of our clients so we kind of generate these initial springboards, these initial leaps, and then we begin to take them to higher degrees, like I previously stated. Uh, in this particular sketch, I tried to work out a different modality for shapes and ideas, and I kind of had a rough image in my head, like I did with most of them. Like, it's sort of a weird scary horn guy sitting down and I couldn't really make it work the way I wanted to even with my my lineup and I was just like this is gonna be a lot of work if I want to finish this one it's not that cool in the first place and it's not really subject matter I'd want to to finish so I kinda just let the sketch go and I totally just delete it and move on to the next one after this and that's a big part of ideation is that you're not gonna finish all your ideas and you don't have time to finish all of your ideas that's why we start by creating a plethora of ideas that give us a lot of options to work with. So we have the ones that are the most stellar and awesome and that we want to put 20 hours into, or the ones that just aren't worth our time. Like if you're not having a good time sketching it in the initial phase, it probably isn't going to be a whole lot of fun bringing it to its final stages. So these are things to consider as you develop in your, your ideation. I highly encourage you next time you want to have something that feels more finished or you want to turn into more of a project than just a bunch of sketches, that you do these initial um, ideas and just 
kind of flow with it and see what ideas come out you know and label them a b c d whatever however many you want or one two three four and choose the one that is the strongest to you and decide what it would take to finish it ask yourself these questions like what do i need to fix in the drawing phase what kind of reference am i going to need how am i going to take this idea to its fullest can i push certain elements do some elements need to go away um, how much information is is here in my sketch and what other information am I going to need to acquire in order to bring it to that level that I'm envisioning in my imagination. And even if you're a beginner, these are invaluable things that you need to start creating mental models of in your head. Um, in this case, I was warmed up and I'm in my comfort zone, you know, my proficiency zone when it comes to like more up close shoulder shots and girls and portraits and stuff so um, I decided to spend a little more time on this particular drawing and essentially sometimes you will get a drawing that you can just turn into like a speed paint or something really cool like that because it's just going well enough and that's really a nice thing too I mean sometimes the ideas are so loose or so tiny as a thumbnail that you definitely can't finish them but when you're working digitally oftentimes even if the thumbnail has the feeling you want you can just take it and blow it up on the screen and draw over it with more detailed information we're essentially just trying to bring bits of compositional information into the picture plane until we have something that is worth gripping, worth holding on to, and we're seeing through. And that's going to take several settings in most cases. And a setting being, you know, sitting down to work on it for 45 minutes, up to maybe 90 minutes, and then taking a break and coming back to it. And that's what I consider a setting, is a 45 to 90 minute interval where you would work on a given piece. Some pieces take two settings, some pieces take 15 settings. It's all a matter of the piece itself and what it demands and what research you'll have to do if you need to shop it around for critique because you're stuck at a certain point or something you've noticed doesn't look right but you can't quite see it. Or maybe there's something you missed that you have to go back and fix. And these are all possibilities as you make your way down the process pipeline. Now, since I talked mostly about ideation in this particular video, I will probably do another artist toolkit afterwards where I talk a little more about process. Um, but if you really can't wait for that and you want to know more about process or have a process you can start off with that'll really help you bring your ideas to a decent degree of finish I highly recommend the beginner drawing course from power painters uh, it covers all these fundamental things I'm talking about as well as allows you to have the um, other tools that will just let you draw as a as an art you know like all these different line types and shading and all that good stuff um, it's also available on cubebrush.com now as well not just gum road so there's a link to both of those in the description box cubebrush and gum road stores uh, with the power painters course in it but yeah essentially I might finish this one I really like this sketch um, I'm really glad that I could make this video for you today I hope you got a lot from it and again if you really want to try these concepts I think it's best to just cruise through a sheet of ideas maybe make anywhere from uh, you know three minimum to maybe about 12 maximum and start to see which ones stick out to you or see which ones develop naturally these are really good indicators that you're going to have a strong idea on your hands and you can then use a process if you have one to start finishing up the idea to start taking it to that level where it's like wow this can be a portfolio piece or uh, this is something I can present now as opposed to just like the behind the scenes stuff and I mean who doesn't love sketches right we all love sketches because we're artists but we love to see the finish stuff too and it's important to have that discipline so thanks for watching power painter i will see you in the next video i will have some posts coming out this week again check out the stores gumroad cube brush and happy drawing happy painting see you later